Hello students, we know that integration is reverse process of differentiation. Like if we differentiate uh, function f x with respect to x, suppose we get function uh, g x okay? and uh, if we integrate function g x, we get function f x back. We have uh, d of f x is equal to g x multiplied by d x. Okay? Now, we integrate both sides on LHS we get uh, f x okay? on RHS we have integration of uh, function g x with respect to variable x. Derivative of f x is g x then integration of g x is f x means integration is reverse process of differentiation we know this. Okay. In this video we will see definite integration as a area function. Now, look at this figure, figure on the top, we have graph of function y is equal to f x on the coordinate plane. Okay. We have uh, this area, this bounded area. Here function y is equal to f x is continuous and differentiable. This is the that function f x is continuous and uh, differentiable. Hai yahan pe. We have this bounded area, bounded by four curves y is equal to f x, x axis, y axis and this uh, uh, variable line. Okay. This is vertical line, here x is variable. Okay. These two lines are fixed, this curve is fixed, but this line is variable, this vertical line is variable. This is called uh, area under curve y is equal to f x. When we say area under curve, uh, lower curve is x axis. Okay. Now, this is variable area because uh, this line is variable. Here are two partitions, hai, y axis and uh, this line. This is fixed line, but this line is variable. We can slide this line, slide this partition. We can slide this So, this area jo hai, wo kya hoga? variable, hoga, fixed. Nahi hoga. This area depends on value of x. Okay. Suppose, uh, uh, this area is ax. This area is function of variable x. Okay. Now, what I do? I draw one line here, one vertical line at distance uh, h from this line. Okay. So, FCS of this point is uh, x plus h. Coordinates are x plus h comma 0. Okay. This width is h. We want to keep h as small as possible. Now, we shade this area, this region in fact. Okay. Suppose this is point uh, uh, D, this is point uh, E. Okay. Then what is area O, A, D, E? Area kya hoga in notation? Area of region A, B, C, O is A of X. Okay. Then area of region A, D, E, O will be A of X plus H. Okay. Then what is this area? Area of region B, D, E, C. Area of region uh, B, D, E, C is A of uh, X plus H minus A of X. From the area of region A, D, E, O, we separate area of region A, B, C, O. Okay. Now, what do you do? We draw this rectangle. From point B, we draw line perpendicular to this line. Okay. So, we have here a, a rectangle B, D1, E, C. Now, what is the area of this rectangle? This width is H. Okay. And this height is f of x. Okay, function ka value kya hoga x ke liye? f of x hoga na. Okay. Now, this area is certainly uh, more than area of this rectangle. And area of this rectangle is h multiplied by f of x. So, we have this area greater than or equal to h multiplied by f of x. Okay. Now, we draw one more rectangle, we draw uh, this rectangle. Okay. Now, 
height of this rectangle is f of x plus h f c sub of point d is uh, x plus h so value of function is f of x plus h so this height is f of x plus h and this width is h so area of this bigger rectangle is uh, h multiplied by f of x plus h now certainly this area is less than or equal to area of this rectangle okay so we have uh, this area less than or equal to h multiplied by f of x plus h together okay next what we do we uh, divide all sides by h here h is positive so we have f of x less than or equal to a of uh, x plus h minus a of x upon h this is less than or equal to f of x plus h together h positive hai to inequality mein koi change nahi aayega inequalities uh, wohi rahengi theek hai na sign of inequality uh, does not change okay now what we do we apply limit h tends to 0 okay so we have a uh, uh, limit h tends to 0 of f of x less than or equal to limit h tends to 0 of a of x plus h minus a of x upon h this is less than or equal to limit h tends to 0 of f of x plus h okay now this is uh, f of x okay also this is f of x okay so from uh, sandwich rule sandwich theorem of uh, limit this limit is f of x and what is this limit from the first principle of uh, differentiation uh, this is uh, derivative of uh, function a of x okay right? area function so what we are getting we are getting uh, a prime of x is equal to f x okay right? derivative of uh, area function is function f x okay now what we do we integrate both sides we get uh, a of x is equal to integration of function fx okay so here integration of function fx is uh, area function okay but this area is uh, for x belongs to uh, 0 to x this is area under curve for uh, x belongs to 0 to x so what we do we put here limits Uh, zero to x. Zero is lower limit and x is upper limit. So area under curve for function y is equal to f x is this integral, integration of function f of x with limits zero to x. This is called definite integration of function f x, and this is nothing but area function. Okay, which depends on the value of x. Okay. Now consider two vertical lines with respect to coordinate axis. x is equal to a and x is equal to b then what will be this area area under curve y is equal to fx uh, uh, between the limits x is equal to a and x is equal to b is area ko integration ke form mein kaise likhenge this area is area of uh, region delta of uh, a b1 c1 o delta means area area of this region a b1 c1 o minus area of region a b c o okay this area is uh, a of b okay and this area is a of a okay a of b is from this formula integration of function fx for limits uh, 0 to b minus uh, this area so we have here integration of f of x between the limits 0 and a okay now this area is between limits x is equal to a and x is equal to b so we can write like this integration of uh, f of x between the limits a and b so we have integration of function fx between limits a and b is a of b minus a of a theek hai na this is fundamental theorem of definite integration here derivative of function uh, a is uh, function f of x 
generally we write uh, here uh, f of x okay we write uh, f prime of x is equal to f x okay so we have this value is equal to f of b minus f of a okay so much by so here we found the relation between area under curve and definite integration 